Buddy, you're starting a little bit uh, toward the rear there, but you had a really fast car in practice yesterday. Can you and uh, Tony Geary Jr. find that magic again? We won this race before, Darrell, in 05. We won our 150, so I think there's magic in us left still. You've kind of been around the other guys and gals out there today and uh, in, the, in the garage area. What is, how are people going to approach this race? It's like we're a bunch of rookies, Darrell. And this is your best chance to learn everything it takes to win the Daytona 500. So uh, hopefully we can survive, go to school, and really learn what it takes to get these babies around the track. Danica Patrick and Trevor Bain seeing the American Ethanol green waving over the Budweiser duel. Waltrip on the outside with the front pack, 10th overall. Mark Brooks Jr., the Toyota, is third. One of the names that you saw in the top finishers, Martin Truex, he's not there. When he came into the pit area, they said the right side window was not inside. Not such a great break for the 56 car. We are underway. Budweiser duel number two. As Clint Boyer pulls alongside Paul Menard, this is for ninth place. Mark Martin in eighth. For 54 years, the Daytona 500 has been the world stage for NASCAR stock car racing. And again today, a field of 43 drivers and a crowd well over 100,000 fans have gathered here in Central Florida for the 55th running of the Great American Race. All right, boys, get this season started off on a good note. See if we can't put that in that bottle. Start the Toyota Camry and Victory Lane. Right on, buddy. I appreciate all you guys' hard work. All you guys from Napa, thanks for coming. It means a lot to us that you're here, so let's have some fun. Green flag waves, and the Daytona 500 is underway. Two by two, they work through the triable. They are still dead even, climbing the banking of turn one for the first time. Oh, Kane, Kane gets around, slides across the track. Dylan misses him. More carnage down toward turn number one. Montoya, Harvick. A real low apron. All with damage as the caution comes down. You all good there, buddy? All good, 100%. No slides, no nothing. Go, 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 go. All clear, all clear, all clear, all to the track. You let it, you let it. A fourth different leader of the Daytona 500, Clint Boyer. Martin Truex Jr. from 35th to second in his Michael Waltrip Toyota. Michael Waltrip, a two-time Daytona 500 winner, is your leader. As we complete 89 of 200 laps, we're back under green. Oh, the trouble turn one, guys. One car down, spinning. Trevor Bain up to the wall, collects another. That is Carl Edwards. Well, you're going to have to do something, Larry, to break the stronghold that these Toyotas have all of a sudden kind of claimed. Uh, they, they're all running up front right now. Oh, what's wrong? The motor won't run. It's dead. Yeah, I can hear it. Sorry, guys. We just shot a win on this thing. The hood up on the Napa Toyota. They've got some engine issues now. They believe they are maybe down at least the cylinder. Coming to the white flag in the Daytona 500, it's time to get busy. Mark Martin is really pushing Dale Earnhardt Jr. in that 88. For the second time, the Daytona 500 goes to Jimmy Johnson. Mark Martin pushing Dale Earnhardt Jr. You guys trying to get by Jimmy Johnson. You were doing everything you could. Yeah, that's a Daytona 500, and I'm just uh, so grateful to Aaron's and Toyota and everybody that supports this effort uh, to give me a chance. I, you know, uh, Rodney Childers and I just wanted a shot at it with two laps to go, and we had it, and it was right there. And, you know, if, if things would have shuffled differently, maybe we could have got it, but uh, it was a great effort. Uh, we had a really good run there, and uh, just coming off of four, I had a great run on Junior, but uh, Brad was too far behind me to give me that shove. And, we couldn't do anything with it. So uh, it was just an incredible day. I was, uh, I, I just, I can't believe these guys let me drive their car.